everyone. So today's video is going to be a little vlog because it is my birthday. I am mostly actually doing stuff tomorrow to celebrate but I wanted to pre-record something today because you gotta record something on your actual birthday, right? The plans are that today I am just hanging out with my mum, we're gonna do presents, we're gonna eat ice cream, we're gonna eat hot cross buns because I love Easter and even though it's not Easter yet, there's a lot of Easter stuff in the shops and I'm absolutely taking advantage of that. I think we're gonna do like some tarot card readings together and look at some astrology stuff and just like a bunch of witchy things, which is generally what we do to celebrate stuff. We just like do tarot card readings and eat snacks. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I think that's everything that I have planned for today. It's gonna be pretty quiet, but that's kind of how I prefer to do things. I'm really not much of a party person if you hadn't figured that out by now, but tomorrow we are going to go on a really big thrifting trip so we're gonna go op shopping and it's gonna be great. I think now seems like a good time to let you guys know that as well as collecting dead stuff I also collect vintage toys and that is gonna be something that I will be really looking out for tomorrow and hoping that I find lots of so I'm really into like 80s My Little Pony, um, Barbie, I like Bratz, Beanie Kids, Poppy Surprise, I like Popples, um, all sorts of things. So I will be looking out for like vintage toys and I know that that might not be like that appealing to my audience because most of us here are goths so I totally understand but um yeah I guess just letting you know in advance so it's not so shocking <laughs> but I think it's gonna be good so I thought I'd bring you guys along for all the fun bits and uh yeah, we will share the day together. It'll be fun and hopefully we'll find some cool toys. The last cool thing that I found, I got this G1 pony, this is Heartthrob, and I got her on my last op shopping trip. Oh no, maybe it was um about three op shops ago. Oh, op shop means thrift store, by the way. In Australia, we say op shop, but anyway, I'm, I'm still like really happy about having found her. And uh, yeah, so that's the kind of thing that I will be looking for tomorrow see what happens but anyway I'm gonna check out here because I only have three minutes left on my memory card and I'm gonna go do some tarot so see you soon next day and we are going to do a lot of thrifting today and I'm very excited so we're about to go out and I think it's going to be pretty good. Also just to let you know in advance that I do thrift wearing um, like disposable gloves because after volunteering in thrift stores for a year I know the kind of gross stuff that comes in because I used to sort through it and I absolutely always wear gloves now whenever I go to a thrift store because it gets gross. Yeah so if you're wondering what that's about that's that's why anyway also I'm like very colorful again today which was not intentional but I really wanted to wear my enter shikari shirt that I got at my last gig because it's so cute let me show you the sleeves as well can you see that how cool is that I would have chosen a black one actually they had pink ones which I would have also gone for I like didn't get to the stall in time they'd run out of like most of the merch so this was like the only shirt that they had left so it was actually like really lucky that, that I got it but yeah anyway I'm trying to make everything work around this shirt so yeah but I'm gonna show you my outfit real quick very awkwardly but we're gonna try so we've got the hat always always gotta have a hat my makeup is like really simple today because I'm probably gonna be wearing sunnies all day anyway because it is really bright out there and 
Oh, I just hate bright days so much. <laughs> We've got jewelry. I love this necklace so much. It's so cute. Um, this is made by Sap Shroom Shop on Etsy. They've got some really cute candy and other things there and it's so cool. I love it. And the shirt I just showed you, but it's great. Shorts. And then we have these marvelous leggings that are also thrifted and I love them. And then we have a sleepy cat. So I think it's gonna be a good day. I'm really looking forward to it. If you've been watching my birthday vlogs like over the years, you'd know that uh, thrifting is like a really common thing that I do every year for my birthday. I don't know why. I just like really like doing the same things every year. So yeah, thrifting is one of those things. I would try to bring you guys along with me. I don't know how people like workers and thrift stores feel about cameras but I guess if I'm trying to be more subtle I might use my phone but I will use my camera as much as I can because the phone just isn't as good let's be honest. But anyway I will see you at the thrift stores I guess. in here is just terrible um sorry about that anyway we've been to a few different op shops we haven't had like a huge amount of luck so far I think because they're all op shops we've never really been to before so it's like hard to sort of know what ones are good and what ones are like not <laughs> great kind of bare but we have like found a few good things which has been good and we went to a garage sale as well which is cool because I haven't been to one in years like it's been ages so we're gonna try and fit in a couple more op shops and see how it goes like I think we're kind of nearing their closing time but hopefully we'll find some more cool stuff and see how it goes. It is now a couple of days later after I last filmed anything, which was for the thrifting day. By the end of it, I was like so, so exhausted because we went to so many thrift stores. I was just like so whacked out from all of that. So I did not film an outro or anything else that day. So this is me doing that now. I would have filmed something yesterday, which would have been like the day after, but I ended up having so much fun that I gave myself a migraine so that's great. So I guess now I'll just like show you everything that I got whilst thrifting. So we went to like so many stores so I've got like a lot to show you guys and most of it is vintage toys so 
just a heads up if that's not your thing. There's gonna be like a lot of that for this haul. So I guess I'll just show you what I got. Let's go! So this is the first part of what I got while I was thrifting the other day. So this is the last shop that we went to and all the stuff that I got there. I'm gonna try and like show you all of this shop by shop because it helps me like categorize it all. Firstly, we got this cool cockatoo plush and he's in like really nice condition. He's really soft. He's pretty realistic for a, a cockatoo plush and he's sitting on our new friend who is a crocodile and I absolutely love crocodile plushes. Long story as to why that he's coming to join the crocodile family. We got this witch book and I couldn't remember if I had this one or not so I just grabbed it just in case. And we've got these little guys which are the dog art list collection plushies and these are the ones that were from the like McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Just like grabbed them because of the brand. I don't actually know whether I'll keep these or not because they're just not they're not looking too good. And we got this spider whip toy. Then I got some sectioned plates and I know these are for children but I really love the plates with these sections because I absolutely hate when my snacks touch. Like I just hate the flavours mixing together so I like using sectioned plates and I've been on the lookout for more of these. On top we have a beanie kid and this is like one of the only beanie kids that I'm keeping from the other day because the other ones are kind of broken. Then we've got another little beanie kid here. I can't remember this one's name. It might be Flopsy. Then we got a whole bunch of little craft things, mostly flowers. These little buttons, which are so cute. Can you see that? They've got those little Game Boys on there. Got these creepy little eyes. We've got some beads. We've got a dog patch. We've got this little spoon rest. And we've got some pretty craft paper with acorns on it. And these little guys. I remember having these as a kid and I've been trying to find them for ages. But I cannot remember what restaurant they were from, so... I got these ones but they're so like mangled and their little tails are chewed up and stuff and we got this like weird cupcake doll thing when i first saw it i thought it was one of the old tonka ones from the 80s but it's not so probably won't keep her to be honest but this hatchimals egg and i've never had anything hatchimals before but it looks really cool it's like crystally and stuff here is another one of the beanie kids that I got, and this one I will not be keeping. Its head has been sewn back on, and very badly at that. And then we also have an Easter mug. I've got quite a few Easter mugs now because I love Easter so much. Just like, aesthetically, it's the best thing ever. So here is the next lot of stuff that I got, which is mostly horses. I got a lot of these in like, you know, those bags of toys that come like mixed with a few different things. And what I was really after were these felt horses. I was pretty excited to find these and this one I remember I definitely had as a kid so that's really cool and I think I maybe had that one too but I don't know. Anyway then these glittery ones like came in the packet and I don't think I'll keep them like they're cute but they're a bit too new for me so I'll probably re-donate those. We got this unicorn which actually I got from a garage sale. These are like little Winnie the Pooh figures which I think are from McDonald's and I remember having those when I was little so I had to pick those up. We got this little puppy surprise baby which I was very happy to find because I'm pretty sure I've got the, the mum for this. She doesn't have the puppies. And these little saddles I also remember having as a kid and I've been trying to find them and they were just there in that op shop. This, I think it's an eraser, I don't really know. I think it's meant to be styled off of a My Little Pony. I probably won't keep that one, it kind of just came in the bag with the other horses. We got this guy, we got these little foals, which are pretty cute and I'll be keeping those as well. And then this one, which is kind of cool. That was just in with the felt horses. I might keep it, I can't really decide, but it's a pretty cool little figure anyway. And we've got this beanie kid his face is all messed up. Its head is very badly stitched back on. Here is the next lot of stuff that I got. Um, I think this is from the second thrift store that we went to where we had a bit more success. So I got this Goosebumps puzzle, which is glow in the dark. That's pretty cool. Got a good old Care Bears DVD. It used to belong to Vincent apparently. This little box I just got to put like some tiny things in it's not. I'm probably not going to keep it honestly. I got another one of these little dog plushies from the dog art list collection which is cool I used to love these little guys as a kid we got a little mini beanie kid 
I got some magnets. Then I got this Care Bear. And when I first saw it, I thought it was like one of the original 80s ones because it's like so dirty and gross. But it's actually from 2003. You can see my reflection here. Hello. Um, I got this little like... I think it's meant to be a jewellery box, but I think I'm going to use it for bones. I'm thinking I might use them for Rare Rails bones because it seems to be about the right size. So then they're like safe and contained, but I can still see them and stuff. I got this really cool like colour block kids bag. And even though it's for kids, it's like really big if you can see compared to my hand. So it's pretty great. Um, it's got like these little mice on it. I don't know like what characters they're meant to be. It says mini mice here. I don't know I don't know what that means but it's a cute little bag. I've got quite a few colour block bags like this now and I just love them so much. And like when I was looking inside the bag I think last night I found some stuff in there. This stuff is so old. There was like this little lip balm from 2006 in there. It had some ribbon, it had a little hair clip and I used to have those hair clips when I was little. It's got lip gloss, and I don't know what that is, but that was in there too. <laughs> um, so that's kind of funny. I'm not keeping those, obviously, but I just wanted to show you. Then I got this jar that I'm just going to use for bones, most likely. And then this. So I actually already have this placemat that I got, I think, when I was like nine months old for my own christening. And I'm not religious, but I had a christening, and I've had this placemat ever since. It's like currently really old and like stained and grungy so finding it like brand new in the packet from as you can see 1992 was really cool yeah so that is everything that i got from the thrift stores it's a lot of stuff as i said in like the little haul section i probably won't be keeping all of it because some of it was like not in great condition which i didn't realize until i'd already bought it like those beanie kids that have their heads sewn back on very badly but anyway i got some pretty good stuff and i'm, I'm pretty happy with everything that I got and it was a very good day it was a fun adventure I hope you enjoyed coming along with me even though I know it's like pretty different to the usual content that I do on here it's like not very spooky but I hope you didn't mind it I feel like this vlog has been like really disorganized and chaotic I think because like I'm not used to filming vlogs that aren't nature related because it's been quite a while since I've done a non-nature vlog so yeah, I guess it's gonna take a little while to get back into doing this again. It felt like we didn't get to spend enough time together, like you and me, just having a chat, hanging out, so I thought that we would do a little extra segment for this video. And so keeping with the theme of toys, I thought that I would do a little bonus unpackaging video with you. So I've got a bunch of my little ponies that I ordered and they arrived on my birthday and I was gonna open on my birthday as like a present to myself but um I was too busy and by the end I was like way too exhausted so we're gonna unbox some ponies and we're also gonna unbox a beanie kid guide that came on the same day so we're gonna we're gonna do that right now let's go I'll, I'll get the ponies I will be back oh, whoa <laughs> Um, oh my goodness. So first I've got this little package that has my Beanie Kid guide in it and I think this is one of the latest ones that ever came out. I think it's from like 2010 or 2011. So it has like the most Beanie Kids in it which is why I got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Look how many pages. This is like very, very thick for a Beanie Kid guide. Look at that. Whereas most of them are like, I don't know, like that thick. So this is really cool. This is so cool. I can't wait to like sit down and look at all of this soon. Uh, now onto the ponies. Take these out one by one. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the packaging because it has my address on it. Okay, here's the first one. She's a really cool little Pegasus, and all of these are going to have a good wash. We kind of do to have a spa day here, a little pony spa day. Okay, here's the one I'm really excited about. Ah, it's molasses. Ah, and I think these are like factory curls as well, like the original curls. Which sadly she won't have anymore when I'm done cleaning her and everything, because her hair really needs some brushing and stuff, but I will try to honor her curls and give her some new ones when she's all washed but it's pretty cute another little cutie mark ah oh, that's so cool what year is she from 1984 that's cool oh my goodness she's got a price tag on her head 
Okay, this is how she came out. This one I'm like pretty happy about. This is Sweet Breeze, who is a G3, and I had this one as a kid, and I have not been able to find her around on the internet, like especially the one in this pose. So I'm very, very happy to have Sweet Breeze again. I can't remember the name of this one, but I love these glitter ponies so much. I have another one that I've had since I was a kid whose name I also can't remember, but yeah, this is like from the same series, so that's really cool. And you can see she's like only glittery on this side, because then on this side she's like missing glitter in her body, it's kind of weird. Okay, I think this one is Cherry Blossom, I'm pretty sure. I think my friend had this one as a kid, because me and my friends would always share our ponies together and that was during the G3 era. And I'm pretty sure one of my friends had this one, so it's kind of nostalgic for me. Ooh, ugh, oh my gosh. Okay, this one's kind of disgusting. Um, ew, I swear she did not look like that in the picture. Do you see that amount of grub? Oh, she stinks as well. She smells like plastic, but oh, she is going to need a really good scrub. Oh my god, that's awful. Ah, oh. oh my God, her hair was like stuck in the sticky stuff of the parcel. Okay, right, this one is butterscotch. <laughs> I think she's okay. That was traumatic. Okay, <laughs> yep, that is G3 butterscotch. There's a little cutie mark. She's in pretty good condition other than her hair. Her face is a little bit of a discoloring like on her lip, but it's not that noticeable. Yeah, I'd say she's in pretty good condition, just gotta fix up her hair, but she's still gonna have a good scrub. Anyway, so that is the unboxing and that is the vlog. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and doing toy stuff. Again, I know this is like a bit unusual for this channel. It's a bit new, so I understand if it's like not really your thing. But I hope you had fun hanging out with me regardless. I definitely enjoyed hanging out with you. So thank you for tagging along for all of this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.